In this video, I'll show you how to find the volume of prisms and cylinders. All of these shapes have something in common uh, when it comes to finding their volume. It's the basic method or the basic formula for finding the volume. Uh, you'll see some textbooks or websites will post a very specific formula for the cylinder uh, as opposed to for a rectangular solid or a prism like this. Uh, I think in general it's better to just know the one formula that would work for all of these and just applying the different characteristics of these shapes to that formula. Uh, so how do you find the volume in general of a prism or a cylinder? Well, the basic idea if you look at the center picture is how many of these one by one cubes can we fit inside the figure? That's what volume is. How much space is there on the inside uh, that we could fit into there? So what we want to figure out is, well, how many could we fit in one layer? Well, if this is one, two, three, four, five, six wide, and maybe it's seven deep. Well, what you would fit in one layer would be six by seven, or 43 units squared. But really, we're thinking three-dimensional here. So really, we would have 43 cubic units if we're talking how many fit in one layer. And that the next part is, well, how many layers would there be? So if this was 6 by 7, and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 layers high, well, we would have 6 by 7 times 8. The first thing here, though, with the 6 by 7 is what we call our area of the base, often written as a capital B. So what we did is first found the area of our base, and then multiplied that area of the base by how many units high it is. So our volume is the area of the base times the height of the figure. And this basic formula, volume of a prism, is equal to the area of the base times the height, will work for a problem like this, a problem like this, as well as a cylinder. Okay? The reason it would work, now it's not going to look as perfect, but if on this cylinder we were to still think about, well, how many of these squares could we fit on the base? Obviously, if you think about a, a pizza that's cut into squares instead of into the pie shapes, you don't get all perfect squares in there. You get those edge pieces, but we still have a formula for finding the area of a circle or the area of the base, and that's pi r squared. So that's just our base area for this figure. Then how many of these layers can we stack up? Well, that's just the height. So our volume is still going to be the area of the base times the height. This is still a prism. It doesn't quite look the same as these. The issue with this prism is it's not resting on its base. The base of this figure are those two congruent triangles. The same idea here, it's how many squares or square units can we divide that base into and then stack it up. How many would go along this way from the front to the back? So again, our volume is just the area of the base times the height. Just the thing we have to keep in mind is this is the base and this is the height. So the basic idea for how to find the volume of prisms and cylinders is to take the area of the base and multiply by the height. In this case, the area of the base is 6 by 7, and the height is 8. In this case, the area of the base is a circle, so we would use the formula pi r squared to find the area of the base times the height. And here we have a triangular base, so we would use the formula half of the base, that's a little bit confusing, times this height times the height of the, the figure. So that word base gets a little tricky on problems like this because we've got different kinds of bases. We've got base areas and base edges. So just be careful about that word base when you're thinking about these problems. 
Uh, in the next video, what I'll do is I'll show you specifically how to work through each of these three problems. This first video is just showing you the basic idea for how to find the volume of prisms and cylinders. And it doesn't matter whether it's a prism or a cylinder, it's still area of the base times the height.